All right, good morning, friends. It is Thursday morning. Maybe it's Thursday afternoon for you. Maybe it's Thursday night. Maybe it's Friday morning. I don't know when you're watching this, but I am glad you are taking just a few minutes with me to get into God's Word. Good morning, David Long. It is a great morning today. Sandy, good morning. Good to see you. To reflect on God's nature, to, to pray together, to get our hearts centered in Christ. Phil and Trish, good morning. Great to see you this morning. Nancy, good to see you today. And everyone on Thursday morning, or whenever it is for you logging in to be involved in a praying community, a, a community that begins its day worshiping God, seeking God first above everything else. Kimberly and Rusty, great to see you this morning. Jerry, good to see you out, out in sunny Arizona. And everyone that's joining us this morning, it is, it is a great morning. All right. What is today? Today is a... Tony, good morning. Great to see you this morning. He is worthy. Today is officially, my life is worth nothing unless I... Thursday. Today is officially, my life is worth nothing unless I... Blank. Thursday. We've been looking at great men and women of faith in the Bible. Going through the entire Bible, beginning in Genesis. We are in the book of Acts uh, looking at character qualities and then and then emulating those qualities. Good morning, Dennett. It is great to see you today. All right. Today is Paul, the Apostle Paul, part five. We're, we're just camping in, in the life of Paul. He's got so many great attributes of character and uh, teaching. So we're going to be looking at him for a little while here. T today we're looking at one of my favorite all-time verses in the New Testament. One of my favorite all-time verses in the New Testament. Paul's life was completely centered around the mission of Jesus. Is yours? As you get up this morning, as you head into Thursday, is your life completely centered around the mission of Jesus like Paul's was? He was willing to suffer hardship in order to tell the world how Jesus had wonderfully saved him. He knew he didn't deserve it. He had persecuted, killed, tortured Christians, and yet God was gracious to him and saved him. He was so grateful for God's salvation that he made his whole life about serving Jesus. In Acts chapter 20, he makes one of the most astounding statements in all of the Bible. Let me read it to you. Beginning in verse 22. Acts chapter 20, verses 22 to 24 says this. Paul says, Now I am bound by the Holy Spirit to go to Jerusalem. I do not know what awaits me uh, there, except that the Holy Spirit tells me in every city that jail and suffering lie ahead. But listen, verse 24, but my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. <clears throat> what does Paul say about his life? He says, my life is worth nothing. My life is worthless to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling other people the good news about the wonderful grace of God. My life is worthless if I don't fin use it to finish the work God assigned me. How would you finish that statement today? My life is worthless unless I... What? How do you finish that statement? My life is worthless unless I, what? Unless I get married? My life is worthless unless I have kids? My life is worthless unless I make $80,000 a year? $200,000 a year? What, what, what makes your life have value? $150,000 a year? My life is worthless unless I own my own home home, or I own my own dream home. My life is worthless unless I get the career that I want. My life is worthless unless I, I get a book published. 
unless I have a, a comfortable savings account. How do you finish that sentence this morning? Unless my, my life is worthless, unless my children are healthy, unless my children have a college education, unless my, my children, whatever. My, my life is worthless unless I have a happy marriage. My life is worthless unless I, unless I run a marathon, unless I climb Half Dome in Yosemite, unless I ski in the Alps, unless I skydive, unless I bungee jump, unless I tour Europe, unless I visit Israel. How do you finish that sentence this morning? My life is worthless unless I blank. You know what Paul said? Paul said, my life is worthless unless I use it to finish the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling others the good news about God's saving grace. How do you finish that sentence? Where are your life's values? What gives your life value today? Is your life's success based on worldly things or spiritual things? Is your life success based on building God's kingdom or your kingdom? Whose kingdom are you building today? Is your life worthless unless you finish God's goals for your life or your goals for your life? What do you want to be about today? Are you going to be about, about your goals or God's goals? Kingdom goals? Or are you going to build your own empire today? Let's be about God's calling in our life today. How are you measuring your life's worth? When you are on your deathbed and you look back on your life and you say, my life is now has value because I did what? Or because I accomplished what? How are you going to finish that sentence? Right? What will you do to make that happen today? What will you do to give your life value today? My life has no value unless I do what? Unless I fulfill the call of God, unless I pursue the mission of God, unless I give my life for, for, the, for the calling of God on my life. Come on, what are you going to do today? Unless I get that promotion, unless I get that, that increase in salary, unless I get th this in my marriage, or wh what is it today that's going to give your life value? Paul said, I consider my life worth nothing unless I use it to finish the work assigned me by the Lord. That is telling others the good news about the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who saved me when I didn't deserve to be saved. Come on. All right, friends, we're going to pray this morning that we are centered in Christ, that we give our lives away for the sake of the kingdom today, that we are centered in him, and, and, and that today our life has value not because of earthly things, but because of spiritual things, not because we're building our empire, but because we're building the kingdom of God today. Lord, this morning we are challenged, Father, by the words of the Apostle Paul. He said his life didn't have any value unless he used it to finish the work you assigned him. Lord, you have assigned each of us a work today. You have assigned each of us an oikos today. You have given us a relational world to share the good news of the, of the great grace of Jesus who saved us. Lord, we pray today we would be about your work. We pray today you'd give us courage and boldness, Lord, not to step into our own goals for our own life, but to step into your goals for our life today, that we would finish our life well. We'd finish well. We'd finish well. We'd finish with value because we're following the course of your purpose. Help us to stay focused on your purpose today, Lord, in the strong name of Jesus, we give you this day. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Hey, it's Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week. You're going to win the day and you're going to win the week because you are, going to, you are going to give your life value by using it for what God has assigned you to do today. I know you got uh, human responsibilities. You got to fulfill some stuff today. You got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to do whatever. I know you've got to do those things. But you've also got a calling from God. And Paul said, let's put it into perspective, friends. Our life has little value if we don't use it to pursue the purpose of God in our life. What is God's purpose for you today? Man, that's what you need to be about. Set your heart on that today. It is going to be a great Thursday. You're going to win the day. You're going to win the week. We're going to see you tomorrow morning. Uh, keep praying, friends.
Keep, be, keep encouraged today, friends. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.